I'm Colleen Cole. I'm the Vice President of the Maryland Cole Music Conservatory. If you are interested in teaching piano in groups or are interested in learning more about the Maryland Cole Piano Method, following is a short sample from our three-hour training seminar titled Teaching the Early Levels of the Maryland Cole Piano Method. The full seminar is a three-hour DVD that is available through our internet store at www.mcpiano.com. So let's go ahead and join Mayron Cole in her training seminar, Teaching the Early Levels of the Mayron Cole Piano Method. First, everybody do it with her, but only she moves. Do you see how I'm keeping the whole group involved? And here she goes. Everybody tap it. One, two, play fast one. All right, move, throw and move. Now, in the blast-off course, you can use play fast for the two eights if you'd like, because that's an easy concept for them to learn. They understand that real quick. All right, your turn. Everybody tap this with her. No. Excuse me, darling. He, don't like me well, I do. <laughs> Here we go. I have grandsons. That's not true. I have grandsons. You ready? Let's try it. Play fast, play fast, one. Perfectly done. And he throws. Now, here's a variation. I'm going to have these two. Tap the whole page. Now together. they're going to learn the C, D, and E keys. You can see how fast this course goes, doesn't it? So if I want to teach something new, how do I usually teach a new concept? We go to game time. That's the best place to teach a new concept because it keeps them away from these keyboards. Otherwise, they're over here just playing away on the keyboard, see? And they're not listening to me, right? So if I get them at game time, they have to listen to me. So now, let's go to game time. Today's lesson are the keys on the keyboard, CDE, because after you teach rhythm, what do you teach? Keyboard, keyboard geography, yeah. or as we say in Texas, where in the heck are the keys, right? <laughs> I mean, we know how to say it in Texas. <laughs> All right, so we're going to show, the show them where the keys are, that's right. So now we're going to learn where the keys are. They're going to learn, uh, when I sat down to write this course, I said to myself, hmm, I, of course I'm going to teach rhythm first, and I'm going to get those two eights out of the way. Just We're going to learn them first lesson, because they're not that hard. And I'm going to teach them all the rhythms right at the front, and then I'm going to teach them the keyboard. Now, if you've got black keys in groups of threes and twos, which one is the easier, the group of three or the group of two? Two, two obviously. So I'm going to teach the white keys around the black twos. The first key I'm going to teach them is the easiest of uh, the three to learn, and it's the one in the middle. The one in the middle of the black twos is the easiest key to learn on the keyboard, and it is D, D. So look, kids, you see the black threes and the black twos, black threes and black twos. Now, if you're teaching little, little kids, you've got to make sure they can see those groupings because you take that for granted. I've had kids go three. I've had them do two. You know, any combination, can you push down with your fingers all the black threes? Or touch all the black threes? There and there. Good. Touch the black threes. You review so the keys, C, D, E. And, of course, you always continue reviewing the rhythm. And now we're going to add F, G, A, B keys with using the C, uh, uh, C, D, E keys. Have you noticed that this method lays a layer of knowledge then puts another one on top of it and continually reviews them forever. Then you put another layer on top. Now you're continually <laughs> reviewing three layers forever. But you know what? When they're 18, 19, 20, it's just like breathing. They will know this stuff. If you just mention it once, go to another concept, mention it once, do you see how this is just erased by most children? So hopefully you find this. Play fast, let's go. Play fast, play fast, D and C, hold for two. Play fast, play fast, D and C, hold for two. Good. All right, now here's the way we're going to do it. You're going to do measure one, two, three, four, and then we all play the second page together. One, two, three, four. You ask, how do I get to hear them by themselves? This is the way I do it. Ready? Let's go. One, play fast, C, D. Perfect. One, play fast, C, D. Play fast, play fast, C, and D at the same time. Good playing. Play fast, play fast. Everybody, page two. One, play fast, C, D. One, play fast, C, D. Play fast, play fast, play fast, play fast. Slow, slow. One, hold for two. Now that C 
seems like a nothing piece, but teachers, it had flats in it. It had sh uh, two eights. It had changing hands. It had both hands playing at the same time. And this is just yep. on page. And they're already doing this. Why is it not com uh, complex for these people? Why is this easier for them than it would be for the normal child at this? Because they've already conquered rhythm. I didn't have to sit here and teach them how to play two eights, two eights, did I? They know where the keys are on the keyboard. I did not have to teach them where is C, where is D. That's all been taught. All they had to learn was to read it off the staff, the third step. Do you, I mean, doesn't this make life better for us? Yes. I mean, they're so well prepared to start playing the staff notes that when they start playing staff notes, half or two-thirds of your job, actually two Just play those three notes. G, A, B. Now, freeze. Teachers, do you see that I'm just working this class like I would work a private lesson student? In other words, I would sit there with a private lesson student and do this exact same thing. I'm just having them all do it. All right, now, students, look at measure two, three, four, and five, left hand only. Now, listen to the notes I'm going to call out. Measure two, C, C, B, B, A, A, G. There's a pattern there somewhere. What is it doing? It's repeating a note, but what else is it doing? Descending the keyboard, right. So start on measure two, and I believe your thumb would be on C. Now, see, my students do not go by thumbs on C. It's if I had their fifth finger on G, then they know the two finger would be on C. They're, they haven't memorized that it's a certain key by a certain finger. We don't teach that way. Do you hate methods that teach that way? Boy, do I. So if you are sick of that way of teaching, this is your method. All right, put your G, fourth finger on G, and here we go. G, A. I hope that you have enjoyed these few short clips from our training seminar titled Teaching the Early Levels of the Nameron Cold Piano Method. Once again, the full seminar is three hours long. It's available on DVD through our internet store at www.mcpiano.com.